Hey guys, welcome to IVK, where we talk about cars and tech. Today we're going to be talking about the ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th Gen. Maybe you picked this one during Black Friday or Cyber Monday. They were having a crazy sale, and this one was under $1,000. This is your base one, so anything more expensive than this is going to have better specs. This has all your usual buttons your usb ports there it's very thin by the way and sorry if it's hard to to see because it's matte black so everything is black and i'm trying super hard not to touch this cover just because it leaves fingerprints everywhere so you got two us no sorry that's two thunderbolt threes over there you've got ethernet a little connector so since this is too thin you can't actually put the full ethernet size here, so you have to use a dongle. So if you're looking for the full set, sorry, you're gonna have to buy a dongle, HDMI, and thankfully a headphone jack, all right? And of course your USB CSS. All right, so this is how it looks. I've been wiping this laptop all day trying to not leave fingerprint. So if that's something that's gonna annoy you, please put a skin on this, I believe. They sell skins for the Carbon, not for the Gen 2s or the Extremes, but for the Carbon they do, all right? And I just love how this looks, right? This X1 right here, it looks very professional. It's very muted, subtle, but it just looks, it looks pretty bad. And this right here, I don't know if you can tell, this eye, this red part right here, it lights up. So if you're ever using this in the dark, you'll know that it lights up. Maybe you're into that, all right? One finger test. Yes, it worked, all right? So there you go. Let's look at this. That's how it looks. Very thin bezels. Thank you, Lenovo. Looks very modern. And look at that. Privacy shutters, all right? A lot of people put tape on this. It's very ugly. Lenovo understands your needs for privacy and they put this little one-click zoom this is one of my favorite things. Every HP, every manufacturer, I shouldn't say HP, but yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Everybody needs to use that, okay? So in this day and age when privacy is a thing, I hope manufacturers start to utilize that kind of hiding cover. The speaker, Dolby Atmos. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a demo here. It sounds fantastic, fantastic. Like it's better than the extreme gen 2s that are underneath the laptop this is on top so the sound is crystal clear of course you got your nipple a lot of people like this uh, the keyboard man this keyboard is good just it's just such a pleasure to type on it has good key travel it's got concave key caps on it you just know where you're typing and everything just falls in line your control button right there you got your function for your your sound your brightness your bluetooth everything here your favorite button and then look at this arrows that are normal sized these are a lifesaver i don't like the thin ones where you have to you know when you touch it it just you don't know if you're going up or down this is better uh, so thank you Lenovo for that and then of course you got a trackpad which is decent size it's not that big especially for 2019 closing into 2020 but this trackpad does what it does it's not glass it's kind of like a rubbery matte feel so another thing that if you like rubbery matte feel this laptop's got spades of it like everything is rubbery matte but it does leave fingerprint marks that is the downside of it okay your nipple right here and oh by the way let me tell you about these buttons so these buttons you can use it with the trackpad but you have buttons here that you can use from that so this is for the for the actual nipple so when you're typing and you need to quickly press something that's what this is for for scrolling okay some people use this like this you don't have to you can I mean you can do anything you can use your foot to use the mouse pad but I'm just saying that's what it's intended for some people don't know that, so I thought I'd talk about it. This comes with Windows Home 10. If you want the Pro, you could pay extra. It's got the eighth gen chip. This is the this is the i5. And it could handle everything from casual gaming even to coding. 
I should sorry, I shouldn't say gaming, like browsing, listening to music. This uses a Intel um, Intel graphics card, so it's not good for gaming. If you want gaming, you have to go for the Extreme Gen 2 with the NVIDIA 1650. Because this is gonna be a little bit laggy when you play games. Alright, so this is just think of it as a work laptop and I'll show you the sound right here. I'm going to play a very small amount of this. This is roll to free, so it should be fun. It's super loud. I mean, this sounds clear. You can do a lot of controls right here. I put the dynamic profile. You could turn it off and on. See? I don't know if you could tell the difference, but it makes it much more fuller. It makes it much more fuller with it on. So if you like to watch movies on this or media, feel free. It's gonna it's gonna be great for that. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing it at work. It's kind of a working laptop too. That's why uh, I'm, I'm just saying that. But if you're at home, feel free to rock on. The base is kind of lacking, but it's okay. It's a laptop and it's very thin. So we forgive you for that. If you're looking for the best sound, you have to go with the I think the Max, the new 16-inch Mac has crazy good sound. So if that's what you're into, if you're if you're trying to do a media laptop, that's what you gotta look at. But for everybody else, this is gonna be fine. As for the screen, this is 400 nits. This is 1080 by 1920, 1920 by 1080. It does not have Dolby Vision. Uh, they do have Dolby Vision versions of this laptop. You're gonna have to pay extra for that. Is it worth it? It's up to you. Personally, this looks fine. It's it's matte. Uh, it's plenty bright. This is not the full brightness. You can go ahead and, and raise the brightness, but if I would only use 400 if you're like outside and if you're indoors. Right now, it's perfect setting. I can see everything. Okay, and of course they have illuminated keyboards, two levels. So you see that no illumination illumination better illumination off all right those are the two levels that it has i checked it it's plenty bright enough again don't worry you can use it you don't have to worry about that uh, what else fingerprint sensor to log in this doesn't have the infrared camera so you're going to be using this to log in it's fast enough you don't have to worry about it you can type in your password the old school way but you can use the fingerprint sensor so it's pretty pretty secure and what else this has 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM so doesn't have DDR4 again that's going to be your extreme that's going to have that and it's plenty fast you can put 16 in here you can take off the back cover right here and put in your upgrade your hard drive upgrade your RAM so Lenovo makes that pretty easy so don't worry about that. It comes with 256 uh, SSD cards, so you can upgrade to 512 all the way to one terabyte. That's up to you. 256 might be enough for everyone with cloud these days. Uh, maybe you want 512, just pay a little bit extra. Okay. Comes with Windows Home, all your natural apps. Of course, you can go ahead and uh, uninstall everything, make it bare bones. Lenovo gives you that option, which is another cool thing that Lenovo does. Overall, this laptop looks very professional. It's a 14 inch screen and it's super light. It's like, it's 2.4 pounds and look how thin it is. It's 2.4 pounds, super light for a 14 inch. Battery lives lasts on real usage, like 13 hours, 14 hours. Uh, crazy good battery for its, for its price for its weight. I think the next 10th gen Intel chips are gonna make that even better. But overall, great laptop, okay? So there you have it. This is the X1 Carbon. I think it's a fantastic deal. If you go to Lenovo right now, they have great deals continuously going on. After Black Friday, they just keep having these last chances. So I don't know how many last chances they're going to give away, but it's last chance, guys. If you're looking for it, you can get a weekend sale. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. 
you know I answer fast and I research if I don't know it so just ask me any questions uh, but thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe I try to do this with my own dollars with my own products or, or my friends products and I just try to give you a no bias review of this laptop okay and I think this is a fantastic laptop for its price right now you can get it for a thousand dollars um, it looks professional, it looks sleek, and uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi 6, it doesn't have the latest RAM, but you're going to be okay. If you want the Wi-Fi 6, look at the extremes or wait one more year for the next year carbons. I'm pretty sure they're going to have it, but overall the form factor is going to be pretty similar. So this is what you're going to get. All right. So thank you guys for watching again. If you have any questions, let me know. That was your X1 ThinkPad. Did I say this lights up? This little red part lights up.